loved it as much the third time as the first. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is giving the movie industry a swift kick in the butt because it's a masterpiece of martial artistry and a dramatic triumph. Critics are raving, moviegoers are flocking to it, and the amazing Michelle Yeoh, already a Hong Kong superstar known for her karate chops, is now flooring everyone with her acting chops as well. Please welcome Michelle Yeoh. <laughs> I know that you related to Frederica's story because you actually started dancing yourself when you were four years old. Correct. What'd when I was four and I went to uh, do ballet in England um, at the Royal Academy of Dance. And unfortunately at that time I had a very bad back injury and had to give it up. Well, what do you think of the, do you think that that was discrimination? Ah, uh, you know, you it's, have a right? it's, it depends on, it's, it happened like that in the Royal Academy of Dance in London where, you know, they see a little child at the age of um, 8 to 12 mm -hmm. and they get, get a physiotherapist and you know and they mm -hmm. go around and touch you and they know by a certain age that age that you would be too tall or too short you would be too wide and for ballet and that's the problem with ballet it's very structured it's yeah. very sort of confined yeah. everybody has to look alike everybody is the same height but it's different now with we have contemporary we have jazz so i think you know what Federica should do is not just it's not just about ballet she, she loves dance, dance. Right. she needs to expand she it. needs to expand right. the horizon and you know it's good because she, she believes in herself and she wants to do this and she should go out and do that for myself you know when i was told um i think i was 15 at that time that that was the end of my ballet career you i remember thinking i saw my dream just going Mm. right in front of my eyes mm -hmm. and then I was very fortunate I had a great um, headmistress who said you know there's more to just dancing being on stage and you've done you pretty teach. well for yourself <laughs> I have to say you are you I know if the doctor saw me now because he said to me no more physical stuff yeah and now look at yeah right well, well I, I figure you know I'm not doing it every single day for 12 hours a day I'm only doing it occasionally <laughs> well, I'm, a, I'm a huge michelle yo fan I, I you are such a huge superstar in hong kong but crouching tiger hidden dragon is a lot of people think it's a martial arts film but it's really a love story oh. and it happens it takes place at a time in china when people would be stoned for having a passionate love affair so i wonder if you found it liberating to do this movie when i first when the script was uh, first read to me uh, we were in a room like this you know a few girls all of us just went no this is not possible. 30 years, this guy does, doesn't even say, I like you, I love you. And this woman is just so serene. She just truly believes in true love. And upon reflection, I mean, I had to go back at nights and I was going, how am I going to play this character that I don't believe in? Because in the story, I don't verbalize how I feel. I have to do it through my eyes, little wow. gestures, and you have to feel the essence mm. of my performance. And First of all, I had to convince myself. And I sat back and I, I thought about it and I thought, if you look, first of all, I thought, okay, Qing Dynasty, the women were very suppressed. It was like that. That was how it was in the past. But I looked around me and I thought, no, even today, we still have those guys who don't say the right thing, you know, who don't express themselves. Right. And we have the women who hope for that eternal love and congratulations. <laughs> You are so convincing. <laughs> you are so convincing in the movie in every aspect, especially the fight scenes. But there, a lot of them are in midair, and I just read that you are afraid of heights. Yes. So how did you do that? <laughs> Isn't that terrifying? That's scary, yeah. Well, it's like now I'm on the 38th floor. If I go to the window, I sort of stand five, six <laughs> feet away, put my hand on the pane, and go, okay, cool view. <laughs> but So how did you do those scenes? When you're... When you're doing a particular scene, a stunt like that, uh, you have to be very focused. So, you know, I concentrate on what I have to do because any mistake would mean that you'd be crashing against the wall or flat 
you know, on your back. Um, but then sometimes, you know, when you're up there and the camera is cut and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm 40 <laughs> feet in the air. Look up, look up. <laughs> it really is such a fantastic movie on so many different levels. And I agree with what you're saying about uh, a love in China because I wouldn't have been able to keep my hands off of Chow Yun Fat. <laughs> I would have been stoned for that. Michelle Yo, thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you. And Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is playing now everywhere. I so encourage you to see it. It's fantastic. We'll be right back.